Muling pagbabalik dito sa ating channel. Salamat 2020 and your presenter, Erwin Aragon. And for today's lesson on grade 11 pre-calculus. Quarter 1, week 4. About definition and equations of hyperbola. Ang ating uh, graph ng hyperbola ay binubuo ng dalawang uh, branches or unbounded curve na magkaiba ang directions. Kasama nito ang mga points. Then we have the lines at the auxiliary rectangle. Sa equation na ito, ng uh, standard equations of the hyperbola, malalaman natin yung um, center, poci, then the vertices, and the asymptotes. At the end of this video lesson, that you might be able to uh, define a hyperbola and to determine the standard form of equations of a hyperbola. So, meron tayong Cartesian plane here, the x and y axis, para ma-define nating uh, hyperbola. So, given the two points on the x axis, so we have really f of 1, the coordinate is negative c and 0, and the f of 2, c and 0. Then, ang nasa gitna ng ating Cartesian plane, the midpoint or the center of the hyperbola is given by the origin that is 0, 0. And we have also the two unbounded uh, branches which uh, extend in opposite direction. So, magkaibang kanilang direction at binubuo ito ng maraming points. Ang bawat branch natin. So, let us consider the P. The point P, the coordinate is X and Y. Ang sukat nito from F of 1 is uh, P, F of 1. Then, from F of 2 is P, F of 2. Then, uh, P, the distances from F1 and F2 uh, differ by a certain uh, constant. That is the absolute value of the distances is equal to 2A. So, we have the vertices here, the point on the hyperbola. After all the deriving all the points here, ito na yung ating nabuo na equations. So, tinatawag itong equation or standard equations of the hyperbola. Itong ating uh, standard equation of the hyperbola, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1, where uh, c, the component c, is greater than a. So, gamitin natin yung uh, c value is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. So, again, yung Cartesian plane natin, the x and y axis. So, the center of the hyperbola is the midpoint. And the f of 1, uh, given the coordinates negative c and 0. And f of 2 is uh, coordinates c and 0. So, ang sukat nito, ang f of 1 from the center is c units. Ang sukat din ng f of 2 from the center is also C units. Ito ang parts ng ating uh, graph of the hyperbola. The center at the origin that is 0 and 0. And the poci, the f of 1 and f of 2. And we have also the branches of the hyperbola in opposite directions. So, ang v sub 1 natin dito, the vertex of the hyperbola is v sub 1. That is negative a and 0. And v sub 2, that is a and 0. Uh, since the vertices are points on the hyperbola and it, this is collinear with the center and the poci, the f of 1 and f of 2. So, ang sukat na ating v sub 1 from the center is a and sukat din sa ating v sub 2 from the center is a also. And the v sub 1 and v sub 2, the segment, the total length is a, 2a since a plus a. Ang tawag nito is transverse axis. So, vertices is the V sub 1 and its coordinate, uh, V sub 2. We have a point uh, above the center and another point below the center. So, ang sukat nito is B and below the center is B. Ang tawag nito is conjugate axis. The total length is 2B. Itong dalawang linya, tinatawag nating asymptotes of the hyperbola. 
passing through the center which served as a guide in grabbing the hyperbola. So, ang bawat branch ng ating hyperbola gets closer and cl closer to the asymptotes. Ang asymptote din natin nagiging uh, boundary na kung saan makagawa tayo ng branch of the hyperbola. So, meron siyang equation sa so from the standard equations of the hyperbola. So, replace lang natin ang 1 as 0. Then, solve for y. Then, uh, we have here the asymptotes after uh, deriving the y. So, the line sub 1, that's y is equal to b over ax. That's uh, line 1. In the line 2, it's y is equal to negative b of ax. Yan ating uh, line 2. And the transverse axis, the meron tayong uh, two sides that congruent and parallel to the transverse axis. And the conjugate axis also, meron tayong two sides that are congruent and parallel to the conjugate. Ang tawag nito, the auxiliary rectangle. The auxiliary rectangle, meron siyang 2A and 2B with its diagonal intersecting the center. Example 1, uh, determine the foci, vertices, and asymptotes of the hyperbola with equations x squared over 9 minus y squared over 7 is equal to 1. And it creates the graph and includes points and lines, the transverse and conjugate axis, and the auxiliary rectangle. Ito yung ating uh, solution. With the use of template, so meron tayong component for A and B, but the a squared is equal to 9 since number coordinate nothing so this is a so we have here the squaring both sides and cancel the square root and the exponent of 2 then square root of 9 that is 3 so ang a natin is equal to 3 so the coordinates of vertices are the v sub 1 that is negative a and 0 so ang a natin that is 3 so it becomes negative 3 and 0 for v sub 2, that is equal to 3 and 0. And we have also the b is squared, that is equal to zeb n. Then square on both sides. The b is square root of 7. Then square root of 7 approximately to 2.7. So we have b, a, b, and c. We are looking the value of c, that is square root of a squared plus b squared. And ang e squared natin, since as template, that is equivalent dito 9 plus b, b squared. We the use this uh, given equation, that is 7, then 9 plus 7 is 16. Then square root of 16, that is 4. Ito yung component ng ating foci, the f of 1 and f of 2. The f of 1, negative c and 0, and f of 2, c and 0. But the value of c is uh, 4. Then the f of 2 is 4 and 0. And we have the asymptote. The line y is equal to b over uh, a x. Then our b natin is 2.7 over 3 x. Then yan natin line 1. And line 2 is negative 2.7. Yan natin b. And a is 3. So let's uh, grab the hyperbola and skits. Include these points and lines the transverse and the conjugate axis since ang b natin vertices are the negative 3 yan the branch of the hyperbola and we have the v sub 2 opposite the directions yan nating v sub 1 and our v sub 2 and we have the foci the negative 4 for the negative uh, x-axis and the positive x-axis that is positive 4 and we have the points on the above the y-axis and that is 2.7 from the center and below the center uh, to, to the negative y-axis also 2.7 and we have the asymptote the line 1 uh, intersecting or passing through the center that is line 1 is equal to 2.7 over 3x another line that is the line 2 that is equivalently to negative 2.7 over 3x 
since ang conjugate natin is this 2.7 this is um, intersecting to the congruent and parallel lines to the transverse axis and we have the conjugate also uh, intersecting the v sub 1 and v sub 2 yan ang ating conjugate axis so this is the graph of the hyperbola with the given equations x squared over 9 minus y squared over 7 is equal to 1 number 2 uh, find the standard equations of the hyperbola oh, suppose i are f of 1 negative 5 and 0 and f of 2 is 5 and 0 such that for any point on it, the absolute value of the difference of its uh, distances from the poci is 6. With the use of this template uh, of the standard equations of the hyperbola, so the absolute value of the difference of its distances from the poci, f of 1 and f of 2, so ito yung ating absolute value, is f of 1 natin uh, is different to f of 2 is equal to a certain constant. So, ang constant natin dito is 2a, uh, this is equivalently to 6. Then, to find the a, uh, divide both sides by 2, cancel natin yung 2, then bring down a is equal to 3 the component of a of 1 is c and a of 2 is c that is c units away from the center yan ang ating uh, poci so given natin yung a and c hanapin natin yung b so with the use of this uh, equation so c is squared squaring both sides then uh, bring down c is squared cancel then a squared plus b squared yung ating uh, hanapin the b squared then transpose a squared from positive magiging negative a squared then c squared minus uh, a squared is equal to b squared so ito yung ating uh, template for the b squared the component of b to find the c so given here c is equal to 5 then squaring both sides so c squared bring down then 5 times 5 that is uh, 25 yan ang ating value ng c squared squared and for para sa ating a so squaring both side then we have the a squared and 3 squared that is a squared is equal to 9 yan ang ating uh, value for the a squared then minus 9 then 25 minus 9 that is uh, 16 for the b squared then with the use of this uh, equations to find the standard equation of the hyperbola palitan natin yung a squared with 9 and b squared is 16 so ito yung standard equations of the hyperbola x uh, squared over 9 minus y squared over 16 is equal to 1 Para sa ating learning activity sheet, uh, we have the problem set here, the activity A to find the post versus ng asymptotes with the given uh, equations. And for B, meron tayong aposay, f of 1 and f of 2, and the uh, difference of the distances from the posay is 8.